Now we are going to take a trip across Back Bay to a familiar watering hole to tap into CII best practices. While the Implementation Strategy Committee and the Professional Development Committees warn us that change is difficult, they also show us that the successful implementation of CII processes, methods, and tools can help us improve project delivery. Please welcome Bill Beck, Jason Crane, Mike Davidson, Tracy Griffith, Mike Peters, Steve Toon, and Speedy Warner. Well, good afternoon to everybody. For those of you I haven't met, uh, my name is Sam Malone, uh, also known as Sam Mayday Malone for my playing days with the Red Sox. I'd like to thank Wayne Crew and the, and the committee for inviting. It's nice for local celebrities to be able to rub elbows with the likes of you as we, as we go through this. But one of the things I've noticed is, is I've attended the conference and, and got to talk to a little bit of you is just the amount of knowledge, the amount of knowledge that's in here and the amount of expertise and all of that. And I think the challenge that a lot of we have is, is how do you take that back to your project? How do you take that back to your office? How do you take that back to the location and, and start to implement that? And I know Wayne's talked a little bit about it. We just heard Jim talking about it as well. And, and that is a challenge. And one of the things we like to show you is this an example of how knowledge transfer can happen in kind of an impromptu or informal type of fashion. I'll show you a little example of that. And then after we're done, I'll come back and I'll kind of give you an idea of how you can then participate in that as a part of our implementation session. So I've, I've kind of gathered a list of folks that you're very, very familiar with. And you'll hear some topics that you're very, very familiar with as we go through here as well. So. With that, I'd like to welcome you all to Boston, and I'd also like to inform you that Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. Evening, everybody. Norm! Norm! Dr. Crane, Woody, Cliff. Can I draw you a beer, Mr. Peterson? Woody, I know what one looks like. Just pour me one, please. Uh, yeah. Safety near miss. I almost got beer trucked by that concrete crew working across the street. Oh, man. You know what, Norm? That crew that almost beer trucked you, they must not be a CII member organization. You know, the CII member companies outperform the U.S. construction industry by a substantial margin. You know, if I, if I remember my math correctly, in 2014, 3.2 billion hours were reported with a 0.42 recordable injury rate. And in 2013, I believe it was more like 0.374 for 2.8 billion hours. Those are some pretty substantial and impressive statistics. Yeah, you're right there, Doc. Zero accident techniques. Another CII practice that was implemented at the old United States Postal Service to reduce accidents and improve our safety performance. For you. Sam, Diane, can I have a scotch on the rocks? Scotch on the rocks, coming up, coming up. <laughs> Let me get that for you. Scotch, scotch. Woody, did uh, you order the scotch like I asked you to? I sure did, Sam. It's, um, well, I, I thought I did. It, it's right over. It looks like we're out of scotch. Can I just pour you a beer instead? No scotch. Sounds like a materials manager in my last construction project. Everything is supposed to be there, but it's never there. Without the proper materials on the job site, craft productivity is significantly hampered. You know, Sam, Boston, give me a Sam Adams. Got it. I'll pour you a Budweiser. Sam Adams isn't a member company. <laughs> Sammy, you know CII has some great information on the key aspects of materials management. I could help you apply those to your business. All right. Um, Sam, you know, I'm going over that checklist for the upcoming pub crawl, and I wanted to confirm what time do we want the people here, and what do we want the menu to be, and, and where do you want everyone to sit? Now, Woody's been handling that for us. I did? Yeah, absolutely. We talked about it last week. It's beer, it's pretzels, it's wings for 30 people. Thir 30 people? Wait a minute, Sam. I had written down 50. I thought we were partnering on this project, guys. Sam, once again, sounds like we could take a lesson from CII on front-end planning. Ah, uh, yes, yes, front-end planning. You know, that's just one of 15 best practices developed by CII over, I think it's more than 32 years now. You know, research has shown that by implementing best practices, 
front end planning alone, 21 years of research, nine research teams. By implementing these best practices properly, you can save up to 39% in schedule and 25% in cost savings. You know, Diane, if you'd all done a PDRI on your pub crawl, you'd have realized the full scope of what needed to be done on that pub crawl and you'd have been able to develop an action list to address those gaps. You know, I think CII is meeting just next door this afternoon about four o'clock to talk about best practices and how they can improve capital project performance. You know, Dr. Cream, I hear that best practices improves your buffalo herd and drinking makes you smarter. Uh, you're almost right there, Woodman. Actually, in the Old West, herds of buffalo could only go as fast as the slowest buffalo. And when the wolves would pick off the slowest buffalo, it increased the, increased the speed of the herd. And it's been scientifically proven that when excessive drinking kills the weakest brain cells, you, your brain becomes smarter, faster, and more efficient. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Isn't that right, Norm? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what he said. Yeah. So, I, so, it, it, so Woody, the same theory applies in business. So when you implement CI best practices, you're, you're uh, uh, removing those roadblocks to uh, project delivery, and you're increasing the performance of your project, and you're strengthening your organization. Yeah, yeah, I know about clearing, kill, killing off the uh, old weak brain cells. That's why I show up here with you guys every day. <laughs> <laughs> but where is it I can go to strengthen my herd? Norm, it's quite simple. You just attend these implementation sessions. Well, all right. Wasn't it good to, to kind of get the old crew back together again? It was good to see them. So when we think about you know, the, the implementation and that knowledge transfer, hopefully you saw that. It's a pretty simple thing. So what we like to do and like to show you as far as our implementation session this afternoon is quite simply this. Two objectives. One, to let you know what resources are available so you can take these back to your project, to your office, or whatever location you need to do that. But also, two, then, give you an opportunity to network with your peers and learn from successful implementers and sharing their experiences. Now, one of the, the neat things we've got in our implementation session, let's say different than if you're going to Dave's Old Town Tavern or Gary's Old Town Tavern across the street, you might be going to Gary's Tavern and want to talk about safety, for an example, but you walk in and they're talking about front-end planning. Or you might want to talk about front-end planning, but you walk in and all they're doing is talking about team building. Well, in the best practices room, you all get to set the menu. So if you want to talk about safety, you go to the table for safety. If you want to talk about team building, you go to the table for team building. In fact, there'll be a table for every best practice. It'll be a facilitated discussion with subject matter experts, but also, too, then you can start to network and learn from your peers as well as we go through that. The other piece that we're going to have this afternoon is we're going to have beer available. Six different varieties of beer, as a matter of fact. Now, it's of the root beer, strain of beer, but it's still beer. Root beer, we'll have some snacks. We'll also have some trivia, and we'll, of course, there'll be some prizes. So we really, really encourage you all to come. Come to the best practices room. When you come, everyone will know your name, as long as you've got your name tag on and we can read it. And that'll, uh, we'll get that there. But also, too, probably the most important thing about coming to our implementation session, and here's the information right here. Tuesday, this afternoon, we're open at 4 o'clock. Tomorrow, 9.25, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and then a happy hour at 2.25. Now, understand that within each session, you're just going to be able to cover one best practice. So if there's a couple best practices that you want to talk about, you'll need to come to multiple sessions as we do that. Again, we'll be in Grand Room, uh, Ballroom A and D, which is just around the corner from this room. In fact, you're walking the A door and then the tables will be labeled and you can pick out the table that you want to go to and you want to work with. But the other thing too, when you come to the best practice room, and a lot of people do that, but the biggest reason they come to the best practice room is? Strengthening the herd. Cheers. Thank you all very much. Enjoy the rest of the conference.